Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. Up here we have Kevin Na coming off his victory this past week. Played outstanding golf. They're shot 20 under, I believe, so just outstanding play. And so let's take a look at his swing. And I thought I would also show you his putting stroke because when you look at his stats, um, just an average ball striker, you know, middle of the pack and actually very low in driving distance last year, 191st. So doesn't hit it long or especially well, but he's fifth last year in putting and then second the year before. So the guy can roll the rock and obviously a very big uh, part of the game, about 40% of the game. So let's take a look at both of those, sort of a two-for-one happy hour here <laughs> on the program. So on the left, here down the line, um, two of you very unique things I'm going to show you that you might even notice as we take a look at this. So, okay, let's take them into motion, very, you know, kind of traditional setup right there. And, you know, this is all very normal, taking it back along the shaft line plane, so sort of a one-plane takeaway here. Uh, get into a nice position, rotating his shoulders. I want you to watch the bill of his cap, though. That right up against the line, you'll see how it moves in the downswing. So taking it back right here, hinging his wrist, right? Nice width with his left arm, good shoulder turn. And at the top, very kind of neutral left hand grip, very traditional face, 45 degree angle. That's all good. Um, Okay, let's take him into the backswing because nothing really crazy yet. Okay, now he starts down, right? And he's going to come down a little steeper than most on this plane. So he's coming down on his shoulder. I typically see uh, guys up, you know, in the upper arm there flattening that plane. So he doesn't have as much flattening. But you'll, you'll notice here his head's really starting to pull back off that line, right? So fairly steep right here, starts to shallow it out a little bit but still above the shaft line plane. Um, and so that's unique. Don't see that, that kind of steepness here. Into the hitting area there, and as you get into the hitting area, you can see his head's pulled back and up a little bit, and not a lot of hip uh, rotation there. So not really turning his body through. This is more of an arms and hands release. So watch this move. And, you know, some of you that maybe can't rotate your hips, maybe you're a little bit older or maybe not as flexible, he releases it with his forearms and hands. Not my favorite move, but one that works for him. So if you look at this right through here, he's really letting the, the right hand rotate over, pronating over, right? Um, so that's a lot of flip, what I would call, and the face pointing, you know, pretty much down right there, right? So quite a bit of face rotation and, and mostly done with his arms and hands, you know, which can be, to me, inconsistent. And that's maybe why his... Stats aren't great for his ball striking, um, but the guy's a phenomenal putter. And so let's take a look at his putting on the right right here. Um, so I put those lines to show you just a couple things. One is, if you watch his stroke, now fundamentals to me are, you know, nice steady head, uh, ball position forward, and I want you to watch the length of his stroke right here, okay? So he's going to take the club back here, or the putter back, and I draw a line also for the ball, and I want to show you how his shaft and that line in the middle uh, realign, okay? So he takes it back right here. Um, you know, this is obviously a fairly short putt. I'll do the face of his club right there on the line going back, right? Very little um, hand motion, mostly arms and shoulders. As you go through right here in impact, you're going to see his shaft realign, right there at impact, right? That tells me he didn't flip or scoop. Even a putter, I see a lot of breakdown with the left wrist. And when you do that, it's very easy to add loft to your putter, hit it off the bottom of the club. And so you don't hit a lot of solid putts if you flip upwards. I see that a lot. You want to keep the angle of your left wrist the same throughout your stroke, okay? And he does that. And then as in the follow through, he takes his putter through to this line, Right, and that's very much sort of a one-to-one -one relationship between backswing and forward swing. So that pendulum motion, very important. Keep a light grip, pendulum motion, arms and shoulders, you'll be in good shape. Thanks for tuning in. If you're looking for more information, head over to Facebook, Gary Bates Golf Academy. If you're on YouTube, hey, there's a little button right there on the screen. You could hit that subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, you know, all that stuff. So, hey, if you need instruction year-round over at the Jersey Devil Golf Center in beautiful Winslow, New Jersey, stop by and say hi. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.